Hi, Nick Duffy here from Nick Duffy Golf and MMG Golf Performance. Here to talk a little bit about the role, the pivot, in the golf swing. Um, it's definitely a topic that you, I mean, it's a very broad topic. I could go on for, for days with this one. Um, just going to kind of cover the basics of what you want to see um, as, a, as a player, um, stuff to avoid, and little ways to work on it. So, discussing the pivot, what you're talking about, you know, in the golf swing is basically the turning of the body, the different segments of the body from the ground up. So, I'm basically going to be working on how I'm turning my hips, torso, and then all the components that go along with it. So, from there, I can basically build a very repeatable swing um, that can last me a lifetime, can actually help me not have any issues with my, with my back. Um, so, with that being said, a very good first place to start is make sure, once again, you kind of know if you have any underlying issues to work on getting those corrected first. Um, if you video your swing and you see you have posture issues, could be rounded spine, or you try to overdo the good setup, have the really curved back look. Somewhere between those two, we want to make sure that we just have a nice solid, not too much knee bend, good posture, right? So what I want to avoid is going to be anything that won't allow me to basically pivot the best I can. That could be stance too wide, right? Stance too narrow, so I can't use the ground very well. Won't very really have much lateral force in the ground, right? So we want to basically do the best we can with our setup to allow our body to pivot the best it can. Um, and what does that exactly mean? How, I mean, how do we actually get ourselves to move the best in the golf swing? Traditionally, for most, I mean, what you'll see like on um, 3D or anyone who kind of works with the body, is we want to do what we can in the backswing to rotate our hips, torso, without rotating through our lower back, our lower spine. This area is not meant to rotate. We do not want to turn through there because you're going to have back issues. So if you are a player who already currently has back issues, first place I'd go is set up, then kind of watch your pivot. If we're trying to get rotation through the lower back, you're going to have issues. You're going to have injuries. Um, so what we want to see is players learning to pivot, turn, without rotating with the lower back. We use our hips and our torso to do it. With that being said, if we are turning in our posture, right, make a good rotation, what we then want to start doing is adding tilt at an inopportune time or flattening. So, or should I say, <laughs> taking away tilt too. So, in a proper golf swing, your left side is actually going to get a little bit more crunched, or say your lead side is going to get a little more. Um, a little more side bend. Your right side is going to extend a little bit more, or your trail side is going to extend more if you're right handed or left handed, right? That's going to allow you to make a proper turn in the backswing. It's how you're able to play from an inclined plane. If we lose tilt or side bend in our lead side, now we're going to have extension there and a much flatter backswing. Same thing if we add too much side bend, now we're going to actually affect the pivot another way. We're going to run out of room to turn. So what we want to be able to do in our backswing is rotate on this incline plane, get our lead shoulder to turn um, around the ball, by the ball. If you don't, can't pivot quite that much, try to find a way to do it more through hip turn, allowing this left leg to open up a little bit more. Our sorry, right leg, trail leg, to get a little more extension, to be able to get more room. That's going to help you with your pivot. Um, I know there's a lot of guys talking about rotation these days and how important it is. <clears throat> rotation is very important, but if we're finding rotation the wrong way, by tilting the wrong way, or just rotating the wrong way, it's not going to help you much because you're going to have to have some type of compensation to actually be able to get the motion through. So once again, if we are, if you video your swing and you have this look in it, this reverse spine look, you're losing, you're extending too much from the middle of your, your body, not really keeping this lower um, abdominal area tight, um, you're going to see a lot of crazy bends in your backswing. So you may have someone telling you you're not getting enough behind it, 
in your backswing, but you probably are, you're just losing this connection. It's kind of like you're letting your guts just kind of spill out in the backswing. So a good way to feel that, a good way to work on it, I'm just going to go mainly on backswing today, would be you think about where your belt buckle is, the buttons on your shirt. And as you turn, you want to keep those staying around the same distance going back. If we increase it too much, now you have that reverse spine look. It's going to cause some issues in your downswing and your pivot. If we can maintain it, now it's going to be way easier to be loaded and actually pivot properly in the backswing. Vice versa, we don't want to do the opposite either. We don't want to do this, lose height, because we're going to take away from rotation as well. So basically the gist of this video is saying make sure we A, have a good posture to start, we're actually in a position to be allow our body to rotate the pivot properly, and B, the next part is going to be when we are working on our rotation and our pivot, if we get to a point where we can't turn anymore, and maybe we use something like you know, <clears throat> the hips opening up more, the right knee straightening, trail leg straightening, um, help us find more room to rotate, that is how we want to find a way to pivot. If we're doing it through weird means, by turning odd or trying to like flatten ourselves out, that is not what you want. That is not how you find more room or more power or more, more rotation to swing because you're taking away from one to find another. So, once again, when our body gets fully rotated, fully loaded, that is the end of our backswing, wherever that may be. If we're trying to recruit from some other area to find more room, to find more turn, to rotate more because some guy on Instagram told you to do it, um, I would suggest don't do that. <laughs> Get to your end range <clears throat> where you can actually complete the backswing in a comfortable manner, not hurting yourself, without losing your spine angles, without adding weird rotations into your swing, weird tilts to your, to your backswing. Overall, the whole message is do what your body's able to do, learn how to move in a controlled manner without trying to just add force or rotation from a bad area to make your body or your swing potentially harmed. Hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Thank you. Hi, hopefully this video helped you out. If you liked it, please like my video. Please subscribe. Please put a comment down asking any questions or just anything that may do with the video. Um, if you need any suggestions or you want to suggest another video for me, please let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to try to shoot them. I'm always looking for good ideas. So any way I can help out the viewers of this channel, please let me know. Hopefully these tips help you out and will continue to improve your game. Thanks.